Hi guys, so today's video I'm just going to uh, give you a tour of all my lawn equipment that I have. So I guess we'll start with the nylon ones here. Okay, right over here, I don't know if you see right here, this broken mold up right here. Well, this is my Honda HLM215 SDA uh, mold deck. You probably remember this mower and the engine that used to be on this deck. Well, the deck is broken, and here is the broken engine that uh, was on the new deck. So I just uh, swapped it last summer, and uh, yeah, but this deck is pretty much finished. So, yeah, let me show you. Okay, if I can lift this engine off, oh, I'll show you. The damage is probably worse than you think it was. Look how bad this was. Look at that thing. There was a crack right here. And see that point part right there? That's where the motor mount is supposed to go to. And one of the motor mounts on that actually might have broke the deck off. And yeah, this thing is this thing was a lot worse than you think. And this is pretty much damaged and it's uh still gonna be gone so yeah yeah all right and then also right over here near this leaf easy i have oops, i have the 2013 ryobi ss26 gas tremor model number ry28140 um this thing uh, really is possibly a parts machine because this one uh, does not even start anymore. I just don't know what's wrong with it. So I'm just not going to be bother fixing it. And uh, yeah. Also, I also have uh, another piece of non known equipment. It's right back here. Yep. This very bit too simple, I guess, blow back right here. Well, the biggest problem um, for this thing is, if I was gonna get this machine back up and running, I would have to buy a few parts for this. I would need, it would need a, let's see, it would need a new carburetor, but I still have the carburetor for it, but um, that one is just completely bad on it. It's not dirty, but I think it's just the whole thing of it is bad. Um, then it would also need a, it would also need a, um, Let's see, it would need a new heat dam. Please remember um, the the second one I put on. Well, that one right now finally broke. So yeah, and then also need a, a new gasket for the air base or just need a whole air base for it. And this thing really is not worth fixing. So I'm just gonna keep this one as a parts machine. And also a new blower is gonna be coming soon. It's the home light two separate gas blower back. It's essentially the same exact blower as this. Um, it should be coming here in a couple of days. And um, whenever it comes in a couple of days, I'll uh, make a video to show it to you. Okay. So that's what the non owned equipment that I have. Let's move on to the battery power equipment. Okay, so right here I have a Ego 56 volt handheld blower. Which blows at 5.30 cubic feet per minute on turbo mode. I had this thing for about four and a half years. No problems, of course, because it's battery powered and there's no gas to mid and no voltage or both let's change. And yeah, it's pretty quiet. I would like to get an Ego 56 volt backpack blower sometime in the spring. Okay, next is my Ryobi 18 volt. Uh, Handle blower. It's basically just a sweeper kind. Blows like 120 miles an hour, I think. Uh, it's only good for like if you're blowing like, uh, like a small porch or a small patio. If you have to clean off light stuff. Okay, and then that's to have this very 18 volt trimmer and edger, which uh, this one isn't too bad as the blower is but i mean when both these are only good just for this house if i only was doing for like very small 
stuff, I guess. But I don't use this that much. Okay, so that's all my battery equipment's. Oh, no, actually, actually I have one piece of equipment at the top, but I have a very before you bought battery power mower, which uh, works pretty good. And also, I have this very before you bought hedge trimmer that's basically my dad's, but I only uh, used it probably once. It's trimming the bushes, and yeah, it's not a bad edge trimmer. Okay, so now I guess we'll start on with the gas powered equipment, which is many of the equipment I use for my lawn business. Um, okay, let's go ahead and start with uh, actually, no, let's start with the edges first. So here I have an Echo PE200 Edger, which features a 21.2cc two-stroke engine. Runs pretty good after I fixed up the ignition coil, regapped it, and still runs good this year now. Because I fixed it this year, and it's running good now. And also I have a, another Edger, which I have the... 2020 steel FC91 Edger, the lovely sounding 28.4 cc 4 mits engine. Really good Edger. And yeah, it's been a great Edger, I'd say. For the past uh, three or four months. Yep, and then, uh, yeah, so those are my two Edgers. Okay, now moving on to the uh, trimmers first. Uh, here I have a 2016 Echo G G2 225 Cliff Shaft Trimmer for the 21.2 cc two-stroke engine. This was featured on my final line cam video that I posted last week. And here is my 2011 Steel FS55 oil gas trimmer with a 27.2 cc two-stroke engine straight shaft. I plan on getting a uh, Still FS91R or an FS94R gas trimmer maybe next to you. So yeah. It still runs really good and not that many problems. The only thing I had to change was just the only thing I had to replace this year was just the prime above and that was basically it. Okay, that is with Oh actually oh actually no. I have the I have this very we always 51 pH power head uh with a 25cc two stroke engine model number is a always 51 ph uh this one i have a couple attachments for this um has a j handle on it installed because uh this came with it with a brush cutter attachment i have a brush cutter attachment right here i have the edge of attachment right here and as well as i also have a straight shaft trim attachment here as well oh and i also have i don't know if you can see right there I have right there is a blower attachment right there that's painted black. I did that myself. Yep. And then, um, yeah, so that is the trimmers, and I guess we'll start with the blowers, I guess. So here we have a 2017 Ray BB42 backup blower with a 42cc two stroke engine. Uh, I used it uh, for blowing leaves. I made a video of uh, me blowing leaves of this blower uh, two weeks ago, I guess. It's been a great, uh, it's been a great blower, I'd say. And then we move on to the 2016 Steel BO200 backpack blower with a 27.2 cc two mitts engine. Real good blower. Uh, hopefully I should be able to feature this blower uh, soon of uh, me blowing leaves at the front yard. Yeah. And then we we'll move on to the 2015 Hitachi RB24 EAP handhold blower, the 23.9 cc two-stroke engine. Runs real good, except I just uh, need to replace uh, the fuel line for it, the one that connects to the prime bulb and it goes down to the gas tank 
I'm gonna see if I can try and get some new ones hopefully later. And then uh, we have a 2002 Echo PV200 handle blower, the 21.62 two stroke engine. Runs really good for being 18 years old. And then here we move on to the 2016 Echo PV265 limb backpack blower with a 25.4 two stroke engine. It's the same engine used in the PB255 LN, the ES255 blower vacuum, and as well as the SOM266 uh, gas trimmer. And uh, also, I have the 2013 Remat CBZ8500 backpack blower. The beast is what I call it. And it uses the 75.6 2 stroke engine. One of my favorite backpack blowers I've owned so far. That's one of my favorite ones to use. Yep. And then, uh, I right, said so that was all the blows. And I guess we'll move on to the mowers, I guess. So here we have my oldest mower, which I have. It's my 1995 Honda HOM 215. I call this the PDA because it's a push model now, not self pulled anymore. I took out the transmission. Um, uh, this one was the one I was telling you about. Uh, this one, this GX Freedom 4 engine was the one I was telling you about. This one was the one that was from on the broken deck. So this one was the new deck. And uh, yeah. It still starts up really good. It starts up first pole, and it's a great engine for 25 years old. I plan on finding an HR216 mower deck so I can use this engine to put it on that deck because I want a steel deck and I want a self pull wheel drive back. Okay, and then uh, next we move on to my newest mower I have in my collection. It's my 2020 Honda HR216 VK one of, one of the best looking Honda mowers I've ever seen and uh, features the Honda GCV170 engine this thing runs amazing uh, starts up usually first pulse sometimes sometimes it takes like two or three pulls but it still runs good Oh, and uh, right here, this orange mower I have, this is a Fisker's real mower that I've had for three years. I rarely use this thing. I only use this thing, like, I don't know how many times. Like, I would say maybe, like, maybe, like, I may have used it maybe two, three times every year. Just rarely use that thing. So, yeah. And then... And also, I have a 2002 Cup Cadet SS21 self power mower. It features a Bridging Stratton 6.75 horsepower overhead valve engine. Runs real good. And it's got self power wheel drive in it. And I got the uh, self power working again on it by putting the belt cover under the deck, which I did that. Uh, keeps the belt from jumping off poorly. So yeah, it's all painted with black stripes. All right, and then we also move on to my favorite mobile brand, Amboys. So here we have the my very first Amboy that I bought since almost four years ago. This is my two thousand three Amboy ten three two three. Silver Pro Series with the Dora Force 615 horsepower two stroke engine. Uh, this mower was featured on my final long term video that I posted last week. I don't, like I said in that video, I had to pair a lot of stuff on this machine and put that machine is back up and running again. I actually haven't, I actually have not uh, decreased the engine speed yet. I may have to do that. Uh, sometime this week or something when I can but, but it still runs it still runs great that's why I had a lot of stuff 
Okay. And then we move on to the 2006 Lombard Tennessee 2 4 stroke mode with a Tecumseh LG 195V8 engine. It's a 4 stroke engine, self probably drive. And uh, yeah, this thing's been a great machine uh, this year. This, this thing's been the best lawn breed I think I've ever owned so far in my lawn business. And I use this thing a lot, and it's been running great, so. And last but not least, we have the 2004 Lombardy 10550. Another Dura Force. It's a Gold Force series with Dura Force 6.5 horsepower, two stroke engine, and with the Alum deck. 10 d is a steel deck. And it has the painted orange rims with hubcaps on them. That it was itself. Oh, and also, forgot to tell you this. This mower is going to be getting a two barrel conversion soon. I may try and start on it maybe, I guess, tomorrow or Tuesday. It just depends whenever the 723's top handle that I bought on eBay. But anyway, the only uh, thing I did order for this, I ordered uh, the Toro charge cable. This is the self pull cable, part number 108-8158. Uh, this is for the 10550, of course, with the 723's handle. So, Core Cross, Duke Channel Core Cross said that, uh, whoops, the 10550's drive cable is a little bit too short to connect it on here with the 10223's top handle on there. So that's why he said that he used this one that was from a Toro Super Recycler, and he gave me the part number for it, and that's why I got this cable, so we can, uh, work with this on the 10 by 50 with the 10 10 to 2 G's top handle and it should work and we'll see what happens yeah because i just don't like this easy stride handle a lot i just don't like having the sliding handle this problem this thing uh the easy stride handle is gonna get painted soon i did order two cans of lumber green such a paint for it it should be coming next week maybe all right, so that is all my lawn equipment. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.